one speaker uh, will be uh, uh, Professor Architect of uh, Dr. Uh, Tabaku, and will be uh, presenting also the work of a colleague, Professor Kachuk. And uh, we look forward to the presentation, another on green building and uh, renewable energy integration. My paper is focused on the problems of uh, applying an alternative system of climatization in a small building. You can see on the screen a first variant of our building and then the final variants. The project to be presented here, in fact, is a single family dwelling situated in Kotrochen, which is a well known residential district of Bucharest having a very special urban regulation, a very rough one, extremely restrictive, due to the historical and uh, artistical value of its architectural patrimony. The house we speak of has been designed in collaboration with uh, the architect Cosmin Kaczuk and it is already a work in progress in the construction site. It has a total surface of uh, approximately 400 square meters and uh, it is structured on four levels, basement, ground floor and two upper floors, being situated nearby a blind wall of an existing building on the right side of the terrain. As for motivations of using an ecological system for air conditioning and heating domestic water, here are to be said a few words. You may see the plans of the building. And it is to be said that uh, beyond the general well-justified interest for founding an environmentally friendly system for using energy with increased care and generating low cost in exploitation, the search for an alternative variant of house climatization and water preparation was imposed by other additional reasons too. I'll enumerate here some of them, because I think they are very important for us. The mode of composing the architectural plan, creating certain fluidity of interior space, implies an intense air circulation between the rooms on the same floor, as well as between one level to the other, fact that imposes a need of uniformization of the thermal regimes in these areas. The facade structure with large windows for the main rooms leading to some important thermal losses needs long life system for producing internal climatization knowing that the temperature differences between summer and winter in Romania is about 60 Celsius degrees. The small area of the terrain, only 250 square meters, dedicating to garden every square meter left free of obligations, made undesirable the settlement of usual large and noisy air conditioning, air conditioning equipments like chillers and so on. I'll describe very briefly now the system, and not in, not in a very technical way, the, the chosen system. It functions on the base of a main device called heat pump. The heat pump uses as thermal agent subterranean water, which accordingly to one of the thermodynamics laws can be heated or cooled by inducing different pressures in the movement of this fluid. From the pump, the water reaches the classical convection devices which blows the air in the rooms where they are situated. Additionally, one or two solar panels arranged on the upper terrace and oriented towards south capture the solar light and heat the water from domestic uses, for domestic uses. Talking about uh, efficiency, e economic efficiency, it is a well-known fact that the classical installation provided with boiler and convection devices has 30, even 40% lower cost than the same installation functioning with a heat pump. We have to add to this cost of the heat pump a supplementary cost for drilling in order to make the captation elimination pits for the water circulating in pumps, approximately 100 euro every linear meter of drilling. The deepness of these pits, at least two pieces, is determined by the level of the underground waters in the area and 
by the flow required by the whole installation for its functioning, and it is accurately established by specially study in geotechnics. This adds supplementary costs too, even not very high. The solar panel system means also additional costs as compared with the usual systems, approximately 4,500 euro in our case, where a single three square meters panel will be eventually set to work. This panel is dimensioned to produce hot water that is stocked inside a 200 liters tank, providing approximately 22 liters of hot water a minute. The automatic connections of the system makes possible the heat pump intervention also for producing hot water in the situation of a larger consume than solar panels can usually provide for. Instead, in exploitation, the system proves to be very efficient. Thus, the natural gas, gas consumption, very high in classical systems, is left only for kitchen and becomes very low or totally reduced as the case of an electrical kitchen range or oven. Even if the electrical consumption increases with 30, 50, 100 percent as compared with classical systems, it remains finally quite low because of uh, the high degree of automatization of the, of the whole network. The exploiting costs of such a system seems to be 50 or 60, 100 percent lower than those of common ones. More than that, this option leads towards a rapid damping of the initial construction costs, a more economical level of regular using, a higher thermal comfort, a reduction in the fossil fuel consumption, a more correct behavior towards the environment by eliminating the fossil fuel pollution compulsory in the customary central heating system, and also the eliminating the freon emission common in the usual air conditioning systems. Also, a better use of space in the house by giving up the large heat exchangers. And last but not least, an improvement, a liberation of the architectural expression that becomes free from technical conditioning of space by various large devices on facades or on terraces. Yet, there is to emphasize a series of difficulties in dealing with such a system, beyond the initial price, which is a high one, and which scares the beneficiaries. The designing and constructing of these systems in Romania are still a pioneering activity, which is assumed by a very few number of designers and constructors. That is why the correctness of projecting and dimensioning the system and by consequence the final results are, for the moment, rather doubtful for us. But we keep on being very optimistic and uh, I must confess that we have numerous questions now. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs>